Welcome back to Lady Rowena's Curse. We are here in the uh, garden just by the front gate. Uh, just here, this section. Oh, well, I got rid of these guards, just get rid of those notes. And uh, just about to check out the cemetery where was. Oh, I forget now. Wilson, maybe? Somebody claimed to see a ghost. Uh, this is. This is from. Oh, I forget this guard's name, but this guard said he saw a ghost when he was patrolling the garden. Um, who was it? Do I have? A, do I have? Still have a note of who said they saw a ghost in the cemetery? No, I don't. But anyway, let's see if we can see the ghost for ourselves. You know. Now we're going to need a key. Unless I climb over the hedges, but I imagine the statues are there to stop me climbing over the hedges, so it seems to... Oh, shite. Uh, so I guess the hedges, uh, the cemetery isn't a place to go just yet. Uh, on the other hand, we do want to go to the chapel, and this uh, hallway here should connect to it, I think. And we do have the key to the chapel. So, why don't we try going there? Chapel key, chapel key. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, there is a guard, so we better watch out for him. Go slow over these tidy bits. That door that suspicious? I mean, yes, I suppose doors opening suddenly behind you are suspicious, but most guards aren't that edgy. Maybe spooky things have been happening in the chapel too. Also, I heard another guard just out here. Hello. Show yourself. No. Yeah. Alright, well he's given up for the moment. But he's coming back this way. If he comes towards me, I will knock him out. If he goes out there, I will wait till he comes back in this hallway. And then knock him out. Here he comes. I he didn't hear that moaning, did he? Oh, he turns around. Turn your back. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, yeah, here's someone else. Maybe that is just stone as well. Rather than noisy tile, I can't tell just by looking at it. Uh, right, so this is just a piece of the garden. Or another little courtyardy place. Cool. And where does that go? Like it says it goes to the dungeon, alright. We'll have to check out the dungeon shortly. But let's go to the chapel first. Stop right there! Ah, oh, bollocks. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Uh, who knew there was another guard just Think you are so smart. We've got a perp in the building. Oh, this is the garden. Oh, he didn't know how to follow me there. So he's gone running off. Alright, well, problem partially solved. He's not gonna step in the back, but He's also going to be on high alert. And, uh, probably running back to the chapel. Maybe running to another guard. Don't know where he would run to. Seems like he must have run to those guards out by the front. Let's 
Not here anymore. Does that mean I can come here now safely? There's the red room key that someone left in the chapel on the windowsill. As noted. Sacristy is locked. Does the chapel key open it? Nope. It has its own key. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. I think he was just on his way back here, in fact. Just make one mistake. Like falling onto the edge of your sword. Oh. Or like hitting you on the head with a uh, blackjack. <laughs> Carl. Where are your friends? <laughs> Kevin and Kurt. The Keystone Cops. I think Carl was the one guarding the chapel because he was on his way back here. I can't hear anyone else coming this way just yet. Uh, so that was the key to the red room. Now we can get back into this hallway. Uh, which we should probably, should probably go this way in fact. I haven't cleared out this part of the house. Does this also need the chapel key? It does indeed. Oh, there is a guard there. And carpet. One of those things is good, one of them is bad. I heard that. Let's see who you are then. Oh, it sounds like Benny. Yeah, as soon as I find you, you're unconscious. You can go join. Oh, you can stay out here. It's nice and dark here. Paul. Well, it's actually not that dark. So you can join uh, Carl and Kevin and Kurt. Even though your name doesn't begin with K. You can be an honorary K guard. Wow, right, so, yeah. ah, all these doors that need keys that I probably don't have. Well, that's probably not the chapel. Oh, chapel 1 works just fine there. Why does that lamp glow so much? An enormous glow. It's very odd. Oh, this is just the chapel again. Now, where did the chapel key open it? Alright, yes, of course. And so there is a guard outside here. Is someone there? No. What's that? Alright, hold it right there. Okay. Yeah. Put down the key, Garrett. What? He suddenly stopped. He suddenly stopped chasing me. Where'd that taffer go? Did he just run into the door? Coward, face me like a huh. man. I confused him by uh, locking the uh, half the door as I ran past. Alright, I'm, I'm okay with that. I should have used a moss arrow. Well, he keeps coming in and out. He is so confused right now. Also, the sound propagation is so confused there as well. Sounds like he's going back to his post. Good.
Why can I still hear footsteps? Be hearing them from upstairs, but I thought there weren't any more cards upstairs. Right, well, I'm going to do this quick. Not quick enough. Should I confuse him again? Going down, I'm down the stairs! Uh, he does a bit of got confused there again. Poor guy. Very unfortunate he can't find his way out that door. No matter how much he tries. Well, what if I? Oh, he's poor, poor fellow. Look at him. Just look at him go. You can't hide from the law. <sighs> On the other hand, if he just turns away from me for long enough. I should be able to run out and bob him, right? Well, I'm definitely exploiting the AI now, but you know. Come on out! You can't hide from the law. Not quite sure why he has such a problem uh, searching now, but um, def definitely a pathfinding problem. Oh, he made his way out here after all. Well, that makes my job easier. Come out here now! I'm not kidding. Ah, oh, box. You've had it now. Uh, you're making me so mad. There's definitely some pathfinding problems with this. Uh... I hit him on the head, and he didn't go unconscious. He must have been super alert and heard my footsteps just before I hit him. I'm over here. Let's see if we can't entice him here into the dark corridor where it's easier to knock him out. Okay, oh. he saw me there. Somehow. Follow me. He is 
super uh, annoying to escape from. Well, that's not really my plan. Oh. Alright, got him. Finally. Charlie! You can go keep Kurt and Paul and friends company. Alright. Like, I know the technical reason why uh, he was getting stuck on that door, but... That's a little unfortunate for gameplay. Where's my shuffle key? Let's just unlock that too. Alright, now we have another loop around the house that I can go. Oh, it's a full moon tonight. I reckon uh, stuff is going to go down now. Um, I don't know about you, but I just suddenly saw there were roof beams here. My immediate instinct is rope arrow. There's even an area above the altar there. But, I have no rope arrows. Which is most unfortunate. I wonder if there's any... I say, I wonder if there's anything up there, and he looks and sees a very clear passage. That's above this roof area. So we have another passage here. There's secret passages all over this uh, house. I got the key from the cell. So we have the key to the red room now, but I went into the red room, did I not? Did I? No, I didn't. I went out on the balcony. I've been in the blue room. I've been in the yellow room. Uh, I haven't been to the red room. I went out on the balcony and then down. So alright, let's go explore the red room. It's a little bit of a linear lock and key puzzle so far in this mission, but that's uh, not bad. It's not linear in its structure to get to that, so... Oh god, I'm talking about we want the north side, north side. A note by the red room. I have nothing against you, Garrett, but I'll kill you if you'll force me to do it. R. What the hell? Somebody is leaving notes addressed directly to me. That's the second one. Is that Lady Rowena warning me? Uh, is there anybody else with the initial R? Where's the first one? This one. Escape while you can. Well, I can't escape. And I need to find out what happened here. I'm sorry, whoever you are, Lady Rowena, or her ghost, or nobody in particular. But, uh, Lady Lucrethia. I no need for alarm, lady. Just passing through. No need for alarm. But a breeze and nothing more. Silence then and nothing more. <laughs> Quoth the raven. Evermore. Turn around. Or not. What's that? Speak. Yes. Guards! Guards! No. There's a thief lurking. <sighs> Garden key. So Lady Lucretha still has a garden key. Maybe she hadn't met uh, Wilson in the garden yet. I don't know. Can I take this? No. What's this gold loot? I can't steal. I'm very upset. Oops. Let's turn on some lights. Oh, this gold loot. I hopefully can steal there. Yes. Yes. I think that's the way. Anyway, let's read this book. Eleven. Twenty-eight young men bathed by the shore. Twenty-eight young men and also friendly. Twenty-eight years of womanly life and also lonesome. 
She owns the fine house by the rise of the bank. She hides the handsome and richly dressed after the blinds of the window. Which of the young men does she like the best? Ah, the homeliest of them is beautiful to her. Where are you off to, lady? For I see you. You splash in the water there, yet stay stock still in your room. Dancing and laughing along the beach came the 29th bather. The rest did not see her, but she saw them and loved them. The beards of the young men glistened with wet, it ran from their long hair. Little streams passed all over their bodies. An unseen hand also passed over their bodies. It descended tremblingly from their temples and ribs. The young men float on their backs, their white bellies bulge to the sun. They do not ask who seizes fast to them. They do not know who puffs and declines with pendant and bending arch. They do not think whom they suss with spray. Alright. This one. My diary. Lucretia. Lucretia. 310. How boring. I really regret accepting Isabella's invitation to come here. I just can't understand that sister of mine. How can she possibly enjoy this style of life? There is nothing to do here apart from taking long walks in the woods and some needlework. I do not enjoy either of those activities. The only thing that is left is to read. It's a good thing the library is kept very well. There are hundreds of books and some of them are quite rare. Whenever I'm not keeping her company, I go to the library to read. I'm still stuck here. I couldn't summon the courage to tell Isabella that I want to return home. She looks very depressed. Cedric is neglecting her more and more because of his research. He spends almost all of his time in the library. He also seems to be bothered by my presence. So I started reading in the garden instead. 3.21 Cedric informed us of, of Lenny's death today. He was very upset when he delivered the news. They were best friends, but it seems like they have been getting along too well lately. Nonetheless, Lenny was a good guy and he shall be missed. 4.21 Sheriff Truett has sent a lot of guards here due to the disappearance of two of the maids. It's a little annoying having these guards around, but at least things are a little more exciting around here now. When I am in the garden now, it's always full of guards. I can't read with all the noise, but it doesn't bother me too much. I find it quite interesting to listen to their conversations. They talk about a wide variety of things. A world that I've never known. The world of the common people. 423. I had a long conversation today with Lieutenant Wilson. We were talking about the book I was reading, and he talked to me about his life. He talked about his humble origin and how it had been hard to enjoy a peaceful life working for Truett. To tell the truth, I thought that he was a cadet son of a noble family, because even though he seemed to have a rude aspect about him, he seemed to be very learned. I had to comfort Isabella this afternoon. She told me about Cedric's cold and distant behaviour towards her, with tears in her eyes. Men, they are all like this. Their work, their business, their interests all take priority over everything else in their life. Meanwhile, women cherish love above everything else. We are bound to suffer like this. 429. I met Wilson again this morning. Our daily conversations in the garden lasted about a week. He informed me that the investigation had not yielded any results yet. If nothing happens, they will leave the mansion next week. 5-2 It has been raining for more than three days now. I couldn't go outside to the garden. I can always read in my room or in the library, but... It's hard for me to admit this, but I really miss Wilson's company. Our conversations end. I will write more later. 5-5 I often saw Wilson during those days, but since I realised that he was becoming too important for me, I preferred to avoid talking to him. In spite of that, why do I go down to the garden every day if I don't want to see him? I just pretend to read. I look at him when he's not paying attention. I like his voice and his figure, and the way he moves. I like everything about him. He's quite different from the other fools I used to swoon over. Alas, there will not be a happy ending. He will be called back soon, and I will have to go away as well. He will no longer be part of my life. I will have to forget him. 5-6. Today I discovered a secret passage in my dressing room, which leads down to the garden. This is quite amusing. Now I can go to the garden without being seen. There is also another door in the passage, but it's locked. I wonder what lies beyond that door. 5-7. This morning I tumbled down the stairs of the garden like a drunken fool. I was in so much pain I could barely walk. Wilson was there and he carried me back to my room in his arms. I felt so stupid and embarrassed. I never wanted that to happen. I do feel better now, but I just can't stop thinking of him. I can still feel his strong arms around me. I've never wanted to be with someone so badly. I'm angry with myself for having these feelings, but at the same time, there isn't much I can do about them. What can I do? 510. Isabella has vanished. This morning she wasn't in her room, and nobody has been able to find her. 
What could have happened? Maybe somebody kidnapped her? But that's not possible. The house is full of guards. My father was informed immediately. He sent me a message telling me to return home. He's worried about my safety too. I replied that I would prefer to remain here to find out what could have happened to my sister. But there are also other reasons that I want to stay here. 512. Isabella is still missing. What a distressing situation. We are losing hope. Wilson is trying hard not to show it, but I think he is getting desperate. All the blame has fallen on him. Maybe I'm crazy, but because of this tragedy, just now that he is being blamed, I realise how much I love him. 513. This morning, Percival, the son of Lord Gervasius, has come from town to see me. He obviously didn't know what's happening here. He has been courting me for over a year, but I don't like him at all. He is the most foolish and presumptuous man I have ever known. In the afternoon, we have known that we are almost prisoners in the manor because an idiotic soldier has left with the front gate key. Now Percival can't leave. He has to be our guest for now and I have to endure his company. 5.15 I had to spend the whole day with Percival yesterday. What a pain. How I loathe his conceited chattering and his snobbish manners. I couldn't stand it anymore, so I pretended to have a headache this morning and retired to my room. I haven't been able to see Wilson these last two days. I can't help but think of him. I don't care about the consequences anymore. Whatever happens, happens. Perhaps he does not feel the same way about me, but I know that he would never make the first move because of my social status. I'll have to encourage him somehow. I'll send him a note asking him to meet me in the garden tonight. I'll tell him that I've discovered a secret passage in my room, and that I hear strange noises coming behind the walls. I will tell him that I'm too frightened to sleep alone on a full moon. I will ask him if he wishes to sleep on my couch for the night. Maybe he will understand. I'm hoping something will happen. Oh, how I wish I could wake up in his arms tomorrow morning. Hmm. Well, Lady Lucretha, you'll be pleased to know that uh, Wilson does seem to feel the same way about you. And uh, hopefully, you two will get your. Does this happen? Apparently not. We'll get a chance to get past all the uh, pointless diary entries. Uh, right, bathroom first, then the dressing room with the secret passage. Another lavish, oh, lavish and with loot. That's an enormous bath. All right, dressing room with the secret passage. Well, yes, that's quite obvious. So if this leads out to the garden. That also has another door. Oh. Uh, so must be the garden entrance. I see. Let's check out the other door. I'm sure it needs a key like the other secret passage we found. Yep. Exactly the same kind of door. I wonder how many of these rooms have passages secretly leading into them. This would explain why people are able to disappear. It's also quite disconcerting for anybody living here to... Interestingly, discover that uh, someone could be coming and going from your room without you know noticing. Oh, we can open this from both sides. That's good. Well, I think this guy is going to have to sleep. Let's see what your name is, Bruno. I haven't found Wilson yet, have I? I don't think so. Right, where are we? We're on the east side. We must be here. So here we have a secret passage to Red Room. Yeah. And this gate needed a key, but that was the garden key, which we now have. Well, I'll just leave it unlocked. Uh, Alright, so now maybe we can actually get to the scene of the accident. 
Maybe we'll meet the ghost that was patrolling the garden. Either one should tell us a little more, I hope, about what is going on here. We've got another guard. At least two guards, I can hear one patrolling. Do you ever turn your back there? Oh, there's another one. Does he come this way or does he just turn around and go back? Huh? Alright, at least four guards. Now that's the third guard I've seen wearing green. I wonder if those three are the ones who are already there and all the blue ones are Sheriff Truett, so that would make sense. It's certainly a nice touch if that's uh, the way it works out. Oh, I should just stay in that dark corner over there. Would have had a chance to knock him out then. Not sure I have the opportunity to, to do so here. Unless I keep going around the corner, then I can certainly follow. And he seems to be. Well, let's just take out, take our chances here. You've had it now. Oh bollocks! Let's just take our chances. He says as he runs desperately for the passage. This. Sorry, mate. This is your last chance. Step out here. I won't hurt you. You want to hurt me? I can't believe I lost him. He just ran into this hole and disappeared. You can't hide for long. Well, it won't take you long to stop searching for me. Exactly that long. Oh dear. Another one. This one's wearing purple. Okay. How many guards patrol this area? This is insane. Alright. You're sleeping, mate. <clears throat> Ah, he almost, I'll find you. he almost saw me then. Alright. Fred! Oh, you were the one who was, who was sweet on uh, one of the some girls. Okay. Bruce. And you are? Barney. Barney, you can sit over here. What was your name again? Bruno. Alright, roll. That's a few less guards to be concerned about. Let's scout around this pool of light. Hope this fellow doesn't see me here. Someone there? Yeah. Okay, okay. Alright, there's. It's a light blue. Wait, look at his stripes. That must be Wilson. He's got three stripes. And the other guy saw stripes on had one. Get a hold of yourself, officer. Say again. Anyone could sneak up behind you. Is Brian? I wonder if all the B guards are have Benny's voice. I don't think so. No, because I just knocked one out. Who didn't? Lieutenant Wilson, I presume. You should take humming lessons. You're all out of tune. Yes. Lieutenant Wilson, well, you know where I'm taking you? I'm not going to just dump you in a dark corner. You know, Lady Lucretia wrote in her diary that she was, uh, 
She hoped she would wake up in your arms. Well, maybe Garrett can make something good happen here. In among all this death and despair and whatnot. As long as he doesn't fall to his death. Trying to get navigate these passages. <laughs> Objective complete. You were quite romantic, are you? Aren't you? There's a little reward for you. Uh, actually, you should get. Let's head this way. There we are. Where's this little reward for me? Oh, that opened. Okay, it does open. <laughs> well, a rather uh, undiegetic kind of reward, but uh, fair enough. I like that that was actually a hidden objective. That's neat. Hey! That's less neat. Ouch. Still don't have any healing potions, do I? No mines and frog beast eggs. Okay, let's just carefully uh, put those frog beast eggs down and. Oh, maybe I can throw them in the pit. On the other hand, there's a talk of the spider found at the scene of the accident. And uh, maybe that spider. Maybe there is a spider. Maybe you can sick a frog beast egg. On the spider, so I've been kind of all around this area. I haven't been around to that barracks yet. What if there's other guards patrolling the garden? Well, that's the scene of the accident, no doubt. So notice by the door. So check in just a minute, just want to scout around. No sign of uh, Lady Rowena's ghost? Or Lady... anyone? Lady Isabella? Alright, what's this note say? Warning! Danger! Do not enter without permission. I can pick the lock though. Apparently this is a bottomless pit. Should have stolen some plates from the kitchen or something to drop them down to to hear the noise. Better watch my step around here. Yeah, no kidding, Garrett. Well, I see the passage. I can see the bottom. That's not bottomless. There's a broken fence and a body, two bodies, and some flies. Well, I guess I got better eyesight than the uh, other people who are. Hanging around this area. Well, I did blow up that statue successfully, too. Interesting. I see a rope hanging, hanging from this beam. Uh, this is a very good place for another hard save. And... Where's my lantern? Lantern. 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 This is my hair. Here we go. Oh. Floats in the didn't Really want it floating in there, that's a bit weird. Uh, let's just put it here. And light our way back up. Let's close the door in case anybody suspects anything and let's find out what's in this passageway. They're quite right, the rope doesn't go anywhere near far enough to reach the bottom safely, so I'm not going to be able to investigate those bodies. Can investigate here. Let's zoom in on those once more. There's only one body there, covered in flies and a bit of broken fence. Is that Lenny? Lost his balance? Or was he pushed? Hmm. Let's find out what is down here. Apart from creepy atmosphere. And boulders sitting in the air. This place was not very well uh, excavated, was it? Mm -hmm. More boulders and rubble. 
Over here. Ooh, some nuggets of some kind. So these are the doors they tried to explode. Or the big door. Alright, it's gonna need some kind of key. Oh, this is a lock. The gate of hell. Don't enter unless you have the holy sword. It's an ominous name, is it? The gate of hell. Well, it needs a key. Good. Otherwise, I would have entered, you know, just to see what happens. What do we got here? Oh, maybe they're right by the spiders. That's a bit of... A big rip that. Looks ominous, too. Hmm. I do hear a spider. It's a big one. All right. Ha ha ha! Take that. <laughs> so what was the spider guarding? Just some gold. All right. Uh, what's down this passageway? A moss arrow. A skull and a big seal. And another pit. No, just corner. Oh, there's another spider. Ah, it's a little one. Two little ones. Should I use another frog beast egg? I should. I don't have another use for them. I'm not using them on the guards. Ah, double kill. Yeah, look at these friendly looking faces. Fish face. It's not ominous in these tunnels at all, is it? Not the slightest. It's a ladder. Ah, it's more tunnel. Oh. That was stone, there's now bricks. This is under the house, I should think. Yeah, we've been going south. Hmm. And where this comes out. What's this? I don't know what room that is. That is... Is this... Rowena's room? I think it is, you know. It's an odd looking candle. Creepy looking candle. So this is the room where Cedric was staying. That's why he never leaves his room anymore. He can go straight to his archaeology site through the secret passage. Why can't I hear him though? He should be coughing or mumbling to himself. That's Lady Rowena's portrait. She has been warning me this whole time of uh, that I need to be careful. Is this another note to, to me from her? If you came up to this point, I suppose that you won't give up. Do you really want to face me? Well, I'll accept the challenge. I like challenges. I may even help you, Garrett. Discover what have been my destiny, and you will find my key. R. Library keys, and we can now get in the library at last. Uh, makes sense that Cedric would have it. I can't pick this up. So, Lady Rowena, if I discover your destiny, I could see the bottom of the pit. You don't want bones or anything down there. Are you really a ghost? Did you actually die down the bottom of the pit when you pronounced that curse, or you somehow survived? 
Well, Lord... What's his name? What's... Lord Cedric has some loot. Sure Lady Rowena might, won't mind if I help myself to it. And that needs a key, and I don't suppose I've got the one for it. Gloucester. Uh, so here we are in Rowena's room. We've got the key to the door. Oh wait, do we have the key to the door? I don't think I do, but the library key. It's also a key for this cupboard. Probably the same one. Ah, maybe it's this one. Nope. But we have this key. Okay, so there's a cupboard in here. Once we find Lord Cedric, we should presumably find the key to this cupboard. Oh, and that uh, key I picked up now has been disposed of. Excellent! Don't want anyone to suspect anything. They won't notice a pile of bodies, surely. Not that a pile of bodies is really suspicious, is it? Oh, I knocked out the guard by the front door, didn't I? Actually, I have the garden key now. I can... Make it easier for myself to get about. Alright. To the library, which was on the eastern side. What have we here? Clearly not. Somebody's still asleep. Who are you? That's one way to find out. Here's Louise. This is a storeroom, according to the thing. Who's Louise? And why don't you have any loot for me in your chest? I don't like you, Lu don't like you Louise. You're not... I've got nothing to steal from. Anyway. Uh, I've been in there, too. Right, and now I've been in Rowena's room. And the Red Room. And all sorts of secret passages. There's still a guard around. Or maybe... I'm probably hearing the whistling from in here. Right, I've got a few more water arrows now. Let's, let's use a couple here. So I can sneak my way into the library. I don't want to use a mine, I want my key. So is this Barker in here, the old caretaker? No, oh, and a guard. <laughs> Nothing suspicious in that. Footsteps suddenly stop making sound. Let's put another one here. Spot to wait for him to come round again. And what might your name be, sir? Stop your infernal whistling. Getting on my nerves. Leo. Well, Leo, please make your acquaintance. Let's turn some lights off. So Barker should be in here somewhere. Well, that's not Barker, that's a, another guard. Hmm. Maybe can I sneak up on him? Oops. Let's try. Very slowly and quietly. Way across the floor. Just keep warming yourself by the fire there. Don't fall in. There's a second floor to the library. Alright, it's a very bright painting. Uh, somebody with a very fiery penis. 
I'll finish exploring the library noisily. Once I know it's clear, I'll try and be a little bit quiet until then. But I can't hear anybody else. I stopped because I imagined I heard footsteps on carpet. This is wood. This is not wood. Hello? Are you Parker? Why are you not moving? Are you dead? Why are you not making any sound? I'm a little freaked. Can I read a book please? Factors to be taken into account. Our life was quiet before the arrival of Lord Bafford and his lady. The situation was still quiet before the accident. Lord Cedric and Lenny started exploring underground below the area with the accident. A maid disappears. Lenny dies. A second maid disappears. Both girls have disappeared during a full moon. What's the connection between all these factors? I'm afraid that I already know. It must have something to do with Rowena's curse. Lord Cedric and Lenny must have found something terrible down here. I tried telling Lady Isabella about it, but she didn't believe me. I must help her. I have a feeling that she will be the next victim. 5-8. I found the old book of Alastor in the sacristy. Everything makes sense now. Everything has come together. I must show the book to Lady Isabella. I must convince her to leave this house at once. 5-9. Lady Isabella notified me that she agreed to meet me. I'll meet her tonight in the sacristy. 5-10. I waited all night, but Lady Isabella never came. It was only in the morning that I found out about her disappearance. I hope that she's still alive. I'm almost certain that she is, but there's not much time left. 5.15. I have finally found the hidden location of the key of Alastor here in the library, but the key was missing. Only one person could have taken it. What can I do now? There is no time left. I need to go down there and try to save Lady Isabella, but how? I can't pass through Rowena's room, which is always locked, and the area of the accident is locked as well. Even though I have the key, to venture down there without the Holy Sword would be suicide. The Holy Sword! It could be hidden anywhere. This house is full of secret passages and hidden nooks. This room, for instance, is smaller than it is supposed to be, and... Oh my, I have sat at this desk so many times I failed to notice that button just... And then his diary... ends. I think he is dead, poor fella. I know. <laughs> well, alright. Hmm. He wasn't moving, he wasn't making any idle noises. Maybe he's just catatonic. Sat at this desk so many times, failed to notice that button just where? Just by the lamp? Yes, there's a button there. Alright. I will attend to that button presently. Before I do that, I will just scout downstairs in the library between the bookshelves in case there's more loot. Check the fireplace. Loot, of course, is my first priority, regardless of any other concerns, being, you know, very uh, self respecting thief. Rather too self respecting, some might say. But alright, looks clear. Well, actually, you have to you have the key. Do you have the key on you? You don't appear to have a key on you. Hmm. I do get the feeling you were supposed to be supposed to be dead there and not collapse under my blackjack, but never mind. Hello, hello, hello. Ugh, more cobwebs. Let's not be more spiders. Oh. Not really what I wanted to do. We have a lockbox for a safe and another door. Clearly nobody has been in here for a long time. Ok. 
key, two keys, and a book. Chest key and key. And Lord Duncan's diary. He was the uh, great grandfather of Cedric Great. He was the great grandfather of Baffert, who owned this place originally. Let's see what he has to say. 920. A witch! I married a damned witch! I have not been feeling well since the day I married her. I suspect that she is trying to poison me. She must hit me because her father forced me to forced her to marry me. It was either that or spend the rest of her life trapped in a convent. I also think she resents the fact that I took possession of this house which belonged to her mother. She used to consider this place her own. Everyone in the house seems to love her instead, including all the soldiers and servants. If they only knew her true nature, behind her beautiful face lies an evil heart. It is also rumoured that her mother was a real witch. They say that she performed satanic rituals in the forest when there were full moons, and that before she died she passed her knowledge of sorcery and black magic to Rowena. This marriage is not a match made in heaven, that's for sure. I only married her for her dowry, to be honest. This marriage saved me from disaster, but I never would have imagined that I would hate her like this. Our first night together I had to get her by force, almost as if she were a virgin angel. She's no angel, that's for sure. I suspect that she has already shared every man's bed in this house. What excited me once or twice begins to annoy me now. I don't want to touch her anymore. But if I am to have an heir... 9.22. Curse that blasted woman, she continues to mock me. She sneered as she told me. Do you expect a baby from me, Duncan? Perhaps sooner or later I'll have one. But you'll never know if a bastard will be named after you, Lord Baffert. Damn woman, I'm sure she's being serious. I must get rid of her at all costs. Perhaps she will give me an excuse. She must have a lover, I'm almost sure of it. If I could, only I could catch her in the act, nobody would oppose me if I accidentally killed her in a fit of rage. 1117. My luck finally seems to be shaping up. I told Rowena that I was leaving town, but instead I just hid for a while and came back. I knew I would catch that dirty bitch and her lover in bed. What a piece of work. It was Jervis, the gamekeeper. If he were of noble blood, I would have had to fight him in a duel to the death. Instead I shouted and called all the servants and guards so that they could come witness her adultery. I acted as if I were blinded with rage. The two lovers were dragged down to the dungeon, and I ordered the guards to throw Jervis in the well. I then dropped Rowena down the well with a rope. I didn't want her to die too quickly. I wanted her to suffer as much as possible. That blasted woman has caused me so many problems. I was finally free. 11.20 Three days have passed since I caught Rowena with Jervis. He seems to be dead now. I threw some candles down into the well as well as a torch to light them. I was sure that she wouldn't be able to remain in the dark and that she would eventually light them. It took her a while, but she lit them, and I am now enjoying this show more than ever. I thought that she would cry out and beg me to have pity on her, but she stayed silent the whole time, just sitting there on the cold floor. The only thing she said when I put her in the well was, You will not escape my wrath. My hatred will survive and consume you all. Oh, the drama. I'm not afraid of her idle threats. Soon she will be dead and this nightmare will be over once and for all. 11.22 Unbelievable. It's been five days and she's still alive. This is starting to bore me. I'm getting tired of watching her do nothing all day long. Besides that, the putrid stench of Jervis's rotting corpse is becoming unbearable. Enough. I've decided to leave this place for good. 11.23 I'm moving to town tomorrow. The well room is now locked, but I fear that someone will have pity on Rowena and find a way to get her out of the well. I cemented over the door just to be safe. It would take some powerful explosives to break through. If anyone did get through, however, they would have a nice surprise waiting for them. The first thing I will do upon my return is take her portrait off in the entrance. I never want to see that horrible face again. I just want to forget her. Pretend that we were never married. Pretend that she never existed. What I need to find now is a more suitable woman. As soon as I reach town, I'll pay a visit to Lord Thurborn and see what his young daughter is up to. Well, I wonder if... Well, so... The well... These covers don't seem to be open. I wonder where the door to the well is. It's been cemented up. And... Uh, if she is still alive down there. So we had a chest key, and I haven't found a chest for it, but we also got a key. Is that this door? It is indeed. Oh. This is another room that looks like it has not been accessed in a very long time. 
This is the room I saw above the chapel. Okay, well, firstly, let's go back to the chapel and get rid of my notes because I don't really need it anymore. And I knew there was something up here on these rafters. It's a chest to which I have the key now. Which has the well room key. Hmm. Problem is, I don't know if I even know where the well room is. Do I? Is it possibly the room we found in those secret passages? That's a possibility. But they weren't cemented over. Where's this diary? Uh, somewhere here. It says, um, yeah. Uh, I cemented over the door just to be safe. The door to the well room. It would take some powerful explosives to break through. And some traps behind it, no doubt. Okay, a nice surprise. Uh, so I wonder where that is. I don't know. Clearly not in the library, though. Alright! Oh, we want this love story to have a happy ending, don't we? Don't kill Lieutenant Wilson. Alright, so that must be an objective I picked up. Oh, that's the one I heard after reading uh, her diary. After reading the Creature's diary, I, I thought I was looking for an objective that was ticked off and instead of telling me I had a new one. Okay. And, uh, I got the bonus for Lincoln Alive. Alright, find and read the Book of Elastor. Is that in the library somewhere? Or at the very least, Barker had it. Get at least 7,000 loot, a long way off that I think. Uh, so nothing really new there. I've got, I've been following keys and locks and keys and locks. But now I've just picked up the well room key and I have no idea where the door is. I also don't know where this book of the last door is. Somewhere in the house. Let's just see what he says here again. Um, I found the old book of the last door in the sacristy. Okay, well, if I go to the sacristy, maybe it's still there. Uh, I finally found the hi hidden location of the key of the last door here in the library, but the key was missing. Is That can't be behind that locked room, because he hadn't pressed that button yet. Uh, hello, Sibonethi. This is uh, partway through Lady Rowena's curse here. Trying to figure out what to do next. Just got the key to the well room, but we don't know where the well room is. The door's been cemented up, and we need explosives to get in, apparently. Uh, unless, unless it's the door to hell that he's talking about here, but you know, the holy sword. No, there's also a hidden location in this library that should have had the key of the last door, but was missing. And I need to find and read the book of the last door. So I wonder where he found the location of the key. Should examine these paintings a little more carefully, shouldn't I? I did only give them a very cursory look before. Sorry, Lewis. I forgot to read and check your name before. Now, I wouldn't expect to find the key in its hidden location, but I hope I can find the, where it should be. And maybe there'll be some other clue there. Any, uh, there's one more painting here, but it doesn't glow suspiciously. Oh, they're supposed to be lit up. I guess that's why they glow. Fair enough. Um, what about under the stairs? There's certainly a void, room enough for a void under the stairs. Uh, 
don't see anything that looks like a... Uh... Oh, do I? It's definitely changing color there, but that might just be from the lamp beside it. I don't really see a seam. Hmm. Well, fireplace. Fireplace is always suspicious. Switches. Yeah. <laughs> Windows. Nah. Hmm. Here's another suspicious corner. That just is sticking out. Latin by the uh, accident site, didn't I? Otherwise, I could actually use it to search better. Oh, is that? Oh, that's just the top of the uh, bookcase, isn't it? All right. Well, if there is another hidden thing, unless there's a book on one of the shelves, the book of the last door. I don't. Oh. Ah, must be where the key was hiding. So there's a papyrus. To the one who finds his hiding place, this key opens the gate to hell. Unless you have also found the holy sword, don't use it. Don't wake up the sleeper, nor take the seal from her breast, or she will enchant you with her words and you will be unable to kill her. Alastor. Well, well, well. well so that's what I was looking for. So the key had been, but no longer is. Who is the last door anyway? No idea. All right. So let's just uh, go back to the map once more. I found Barker. I've got the key to the library. I've marked the room as having been there and I've been in the chapel. I have not yet been to the sacristy where the Book of Elastor is supposed to be. I haven't even been in the sitting and dining rooms yet. Uh, there's probably nothing in there except loot. Um, have I been here? I'm not sure. In any case, the red room, no, we've been in Rowena's room and Rowena's room has a locked cupboard, but it also has a passage to the site of the accident, which I'll have to go back to, to get my lantern. Let's just make a note of here for later. So, uh, we found Lord, the old Lord Duncan's diary, and uh, he, recounting how he killed Jervis, the gamekeeper, and sent Lady Rowena down the well, and then five days later she was still alive at the bottom of the well, so he locked the door of the well room and cemented over it. Uh, a very nice story all up, right? So we're going to have to ultimately find this well room to find what became of Lady Rowena. Uh, we, as she challenged us to do in this latest scroll. Which one is it? Let me just go through here. Is it that one? No. This one? Nope. This one here. Discover what may have been my destiny and you'll find my key. So that'll be Lady Rowena's key and I expect she is the one who has a last door's key, the key to the gate of hell. Which means we're going to have to find the well room. Well, well. But for now, it has been an hour and ten minutes, and to be honest, I need to get to bed. So I will continue the stream tomorrow. In the meantime, thanks very much for watching, and uh, I will see you next time.